Now, Nora Al Matrushi has become the first Arab woman to become an astronaut. She graduated from NASA's training program this week, ready to blast off into the cosmos. Um, like her uh, ancestors, the Amiriti spent much of her life gazing at the stars and dreaming of flying to the moon. In 2021, the 31-year-old was chosen by the UAE Space Agency for a NASA training program. I think becoming an astronaut is hard regardless of what your religion or what your background is. So I don't think being a Muslim made it harder. Um, but being a Muslim made me aware of the contributions of my ancestors, of the Muslim scholars and scientists that came before me that uh, were studying the stars. And me becoming an astronaut is just building on that legacy of what they started a thousand thousand years ago. NASA has been very accommodating to um, any requirements that we have. Uh, during Ramadan, Muslims fast typically from uh, sunrise to sunset and um, they've been accommodating of that. Like uh, any type of extremely rigorous training that requires a lot of physical effort was um, either pushed earlier in the day or was postponed to after Ramadan. The material that goes into the EMU suit, it has to be very specific material. So they, the suit engineers ended up sewing a makeshift hijab for me to wear. Uh, I could put it on, get into the suit, and then put on the comp cap and then take it off and my hair would be covered. So I really, really appreciate them doing that for me. I want to push humanity further than it's ever been before. I want humanity to go back to the moon, and I want humanity to go further beyond the moon, and I want to be part of that journey.